Hello and welcome to week seven in Society and Technology chapter seven. Uh, let there be light. Little uh, little play on the words uh, regarding electricity and how electricity is a, a miracle that we've discovered how to harness that. Uh, so many things in our life that I look around right now and everything I have around me is electronic. And so lots of technology burst forth over the last many years regarding after we discovered how to harness tech, uh, that particular technology. Now, in the there's two discussions for this week. The first discussion looks at what if all the lights were not? What if suddenly there was no more electricity? Uh, watch, you know, Planet of the Apes or anyone anyway, doomsday sort of thing or any of the, any people living in the world of being a prepper an individual who's preparing for uh some sort of end to modern civilization and think a little bit about how that would affect you um i'm pretty sure i would not survive for very long I'm, i have some farming experience but not enough to grow my own food uh, everything i have would spoil uh, my job would be non-existent and probably go on and on about the things that uh, that would be unpleasant. But the first discussion to think about what would happen, what would you do, what would change, uh, even if you want to think a little clever about it, how might things improve? Maybe you're stuck to your phone and you would be able to finally break that habit, you know, that kind of thing. So consider that for the first discussion. The second discussion is sort of at this point, We've been talking about the evolution of technology in different areas, just taking a pause and saying, all this forward momentum, what are the risks and benefits? Now, we know that the technology adoption curve is becoming compressed. More and more changes in technology over shorter and shorter times is creating a kind of modern day stress of how do you keep up with those changes. Way back in time, technological changes took a while for them to become ubiquitous, the, the, that you would find them everywhere. In fact, changes in anybody's, the technology associated with somebody's career would probably not change within the time of that person's career. They might change, you know, right at the end, or they maybe one change or whatever. Now we're looking at a lot of changes. Depending on which industry you're going into, you can anticipate that your learning process of new technology is not going to change. You're going to have to keep up with new developments pretty much all the time. What does that do to us? How does that feel? What does that do to our security, our sense of ourself, our continually changing identity, the idea that what I know today may become obsolete? For later, what do I need to learn? What do I need to be able to do to ensure that my skills don't become obsolete? There are some skills that will never become obsolete. Working with people, being able to understand numbers, logical and critical thinking, kind of generic things, but how to do that particular doodad, how to, how to solder that particular thing or whatever it is, that may go away. But all those critical thinking skills will have to stay. Those will get you to the next place. Let's have a discussion about that. And then finally, for the quiz, chapter seven quiz, I want you to look at those electronic technologies and talk about the role they play in your life in terms of your identity. So if you're online in social media, you have a social identity. If you have devices and they're part of your everyday routine, they are integrated into your sense of self and how you get things done. They probably have a huge impact on how much you can get done in a particular day. So talking about those things. And to introduce this little bit of uh, anthropology, anthropology compares cultures, studies cultures and compares cultures. And in a technologically advanced society such as ours, where access to very high levels of technology are the norm, how does that create for us a sense of ethnocentrism? Ethnocentrism 
is the quality of human perception that says when we experience other people with a culture different than ours, which includes this technology culture, we tend to see those cultures as inferior. That's, it's, an, it's an error system built in within our brains. Just like biases and whatnot, we'll encounter something else and like, ah, my way is better. We can train ourselves to see things better and certainly we can see ourselves having an open mind about how other people live, but there's still that, my, there's that, you know, how much am I going to step out of my comfort box before I start feeling some discomfort? So, those are the two questions for the quiz. So, we're looking at electricity, electronic devices, looking at some specific discussions, but also that generic one. The, uh, the B one is a little generic in terms of all of technology and then the quiz. So, that's what's for this week. Look forward to seeing you folks online. Have a great week and take care.